TLC Arts and Skills Group. It's Naomi Kanaika. Today I want to share with you and show you how we can do some sand art. So as you know me, I love to do things that we have at home and sand, um, salt is something that you find at home. Uh, so uh, it can be sand can be created different ways especially now in the winter time we can't get sand from the beach so um, in spring and summer we can collect some sand and do this as well but while in winter we can create our own sand and sand can be created with different ways one way is by salt if you have salt at home you can use the salt and uh, mix it with some paint the coloring that we have and create that beautiful colors of sand but if you don't have salt at home you can if you have laundry detergent if you have that kind of material you can use that as well to create sand so I tried different ways to create sand and I'm going to show you some ways that we can create sand and uh, we can be make some beautiful succulent uh, arrangements. So we would have, uh, what we would need is some salt or laundry detergent or some, uh, some source of uh, sand kind of material so if you don't have sand in, in winter we can use salt and um, what we need is some uh, things that we have at home already so if you have jars with at home or wine glass at home or if you have bottles at home or if you have any kind of vase or any kind of a glass cup you can use these Kind of things to create so I will show you what we need and how we do this beautiful creation with sand Hi everyone it's Naomi Kanaika from TLC Arts and Skills today I'm going to show you uh, to create some sand art sand is something that we can find in spring and summer in the beaches but if you don't have sand now you can create sand from salt so you heard me right you can create sand from salt so if you have salt at home what you do is i'm going to show you step by step what you have to do so if you have a painting at home paints at home and uh, salt at home you can create some beautiful colored sand and do these beautiful creations with succulents real succulents and fake succulents and create some beautiful pieces so whenever we have done this and whenever we see this, we will remember that you and I have been called to be the salt of the world. So in Matthew chapter 5 verse 13, Jesus says, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its saltness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. So today when we make our sand art, let's remember that Jesus wants us to be the salt of the earth. So what does salt do? We all know salt is needed for everything. Salt is needed for us to cook and have a yummy, tasty meal. And salt was used for medication. Salt was used to preserve things. And just like salt is so important, you and I, we are to be the salt in the world. So whenever we touch someone in our uh, circle of people that we have, we are going to influence and we are going to make their life better. So salt makes food yummy and tasty. So whenever we touch someone's life, we are going to make them know the love of Jesus and know the taste of Jesus. They're going to experience Jesus through our life. So that is why Jesus says that you and I are the salt of the world. So whenever you create this craft with me and create this beautiful salt art with me, remember, you are the salt. You and I, we are the salt. And God wants us to be used by him to influence someone and make someone's life better and let them experience Jesus through our life. So the word of God is so important. And it says that you and I, we have that relationship with Jesus and that fragrance, that love, that beauty, that tasty, that, uh, that, uh, that beauty that no one can satisfy, we can share it. So salt is so valuable. You need salt all the time. So you and I, we are valuable to Christ and he loves us. 
and he wants us to preserve uh, us from uh, the decay in the society in the world to be in the world but not of the world we can be salt in the world so i hope this will encourage you today and i hope that you will create your own craft with me uh, this uh, beautiful creation with me a salt art and i will show you step by step how you can do it i thank the tlc church and i thank the tlc arts and skills god bless you all have a good day bye so these are few of the sand art that we have already done and we are going to show you one by one what we can do so if you can, if you can see this one uh, this is a waste that i had at home and what we did was we had some sand that we made it into different color and uh, we planted a real succulent on top and this can be around your home where you can um, you can display and even in the winter time if you like to have plants at home we can have this small uh, waste where we can have plants and this one is a big waste that i had which i made sand from laundry detergent so laundry detergent we had one box that was really hard so what i did was break it into pieces and we mix with different colors to make these different kinds of sand yeah me too. and um, we put two real succulents on top so because it is separated by so soil uh, it has been surviving now it's almost two months since I made this one and it, it has been surviving well. So, and another I have here, I will show you. This also is a waste that we had where we filled with sand of different colors and with the soil and we planted this real, uh, real succulent that I found in the grocery store. And uh, this one, what we can really, succulents yeah. are very slow growing yeah. plants but still they grow and what we can do is we can easily replant them we can easily multiply them so uh, what we usually do is just cut a one piece and keep it to dry and then you can plant it on soil and these will grow again so this is another uh, uh, sand art creation we did and this is another one we can see a different kind of a waste that too, uh, colored sand at the bottom and real soil, and then a real succulent is planted. And this one too, we uh, I just have it ready for today's activity where we will be doing um, a succulent. So I have also got some artificial plants, um, some artificial succulents that I already created, I re-gifted to people. So. I don't have it now here to display but um, I can I have some artificial plants as well from here so we can do some artificial as well if we don't want to take care of a real succulent or a plant mm -hmm. what you can have is an artificial one. <gasps> oh, here I have one that I can show you an artificial one that we got from the dollar shop this was two artificial trees um, and uh, this is some uh, we have put some Epsom salt and created this beautiful arrangement. So it can be in a cup, a glass cup. We're going to do some today in some glass bottles that we have. And also on a wine glass that you don't use. And uh, also on another vase or any uh, pot that you might have a glass uh, kind of a pot. And this is the salt that we have. Uh, we're going to show you how we make the colors and so I, I'm going to make two colors for today's activity So I have in two bags So if you can put some salt in a ziplock bag that will be good So if you don't have succulents or if you have even a money plant I don't know what you call this in the science term But if you have these kind of plants as well, they grow really fast So we can even cut a small stem of it and plant it, plant it in soil and it grows so you can have that as well and these are some other materials that you can use with the sand because the salt you don't want to use overuse the so salt so i can put in between some of these um, aquarium uh, uh, small stones or in the dollar shop you can get these kind of 
stones for a dollar something so many things that can be used so i hope that you will enjoy uh, creating with us some beautiful sand art projects with succulents and artificial plants and different stones god bless you all so this is a little bit of sand, uh, salt i have taken so what i'm going to do is take it in the ziploc bag and we're going to make yellow sand so if we don't have real sand what we can do is mix some colors with salt to make this beautiful sand that looks like sand so i just mix it around like that so in the ziploc bag to make the, the salt into real uh, sand looking like sand so if you can see quickly the salt becomes yellow and that turns into a sand looking material Hosanna is here today to help me as well Hosanna you like making some succulent sand art with me yes. yeah so it looks so bright with the salt so if you use like this shake it a few times and what I usually do is keep it overnight to for it to dry before we use it but if you want to use it now you can use it as well but if it's dry it's better so I hope you can hear me so we made the yellow sand and now we're going to make with the rest of the salt some blue sand blue sand I don't know yeah so you take the blue paint and mix it with the salt yeah. and then we we turn it and we squish it and mush it Hosanna is a really good helper right yeah okay now we shake it now we shake it all right gentle gentle Oh, look how pretty the sand oh, is. Oh, that's blue sand. Yeah. So if you don't mind using some salt from home, so this is how you make the colored sand. But if you want to wait till spring and summer and get real sand, you can do that as well. Um, so for us, we're going to use these two colors for today. But we made different colors. If you can see our projects here we made different colors sand so here is one we made different colors as well so you can be creative and do your own thing and if you have uh, um, salt at home you can create these kind of different colors so today we made to show you light blue sand mm -hmm. from salt and yellow sand from salt so all you need is salt and paint all right so the next step we do is take a vase or a, a glass or a bottle what we're going to use first we're going to use this vase and so we're going to fill it with some stones so colored stones so Hosanna's putting some so we want to put some layers so what we do is we're going to put little by little some layers we don't want to put whole lot, but Hosanna, I think that's good. Yes. So we put a layer of these stones because if it's a big pot, we don't want to overfill. So that looks really good. And next, what we are going to do is we're going to put some of a different color. So we're going to put these kind of marbles uh, to put because we don't want uh, the the sand that we create to creep out from the place so okay before that maybe we're going to put some soil soil here and so that it'll be a flat surface so we can put the the sand one second Hosanna we're going to put some soil first okay so this is the soil bag that we got from the dollar shop if you have soil at home you can use that as well so what we did was put some soil and now we're going to put it as a base so what it will do is Hosanna want to do next time okay so what it will do is give it like a base so that it will have uh, you can see that uh, 
the salt that we're going to put would not creep it out from here so we did that and Hosanna come help me all right so next we want to do a white surface to make it a little brighter so we can do a, a white surface with some Epsom salt that we got or you can use the white salt as well so we do a little bit of that this is like a quarter quarter of the, the bag so Epsom salt is very strong and it's really like a perfume so what we can do is we can plant in here a fake uh, succulents so that it will not kill the succulent so that is good one second Osana. and next we're going to do the colored sand so now if you can see you can see the difference of the colors so we can put the colored sand okay here Hosanna come okay good okay so we're going to put the colored sand so because we didn't make a lot we're going to put it around so you can put it around Hosanna come she wants to help Hosanna wants to help so all right if you can see the blue okay come help me you said you want help can you help me see the beautiful sand the blue sand looks so pretty and beautiful I don't like it. you don't like it okay no. here all right so it looks beautiful the colored uh, salt looks really beautiful of a nice blue color so now we can put a layer of yellow salt that we did okay first thing i want to do okay do it in the edges okay like this because we want only the colors <laughs> on the edges okay Hosanna come help me all right here you go okay help me push it push it all right all right we don't want to waste too much so if you can see it is a beautiful yellow pattern as well so Hosanna come help me all right, Hosanna wants to try everything and Hosanna likes to make nice um, things with mama. All right, so if you can see the yellow surface and it looks really pretty. So what I can do is there is a rim there, the gold rim. So anything that is there cannot be seen. So I'll push it back. So whatever glass object that you have you can create it so what we're going to do next is we are going to put some moss uh, before that maybe we can put some artificial plant in it so we have some artificial plants with us so what we're going to do is plant them the artificial plants in between so maybe before that we can put the moss Okay, get the moss, Hosanna. The moss is that. Bag. Okay, good. We take a piece. This was in the dollar shop for three dollars. A whole bag of moss. You only need a small piece. So you take a piece, Hosanna. Come. All right, you help me. Okay, put the moss on top. On top like this. Put the moss like this. Oh, moss is so strong smell, right? Mm. Smells like plants. <laughs> good, good. Did you do that? No. You want to do small piece? Okay, small piece. We don't need much. Small, small. Okay, good. Good. All right. So, we can arrange the moss around so that it looks like a natural thing. And what we can do is, if you have artificial plants, you can put the artificial plants because we didn't put soil on top if you um, if you have uh, was there another plant no. no okay so what next we can do is decorate it around no, if you can know. see all right decorate it Hosanna put like a small bright crystals around and decorate it around yeah looks pretty doesn't it look pretty 
Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, so we can do this way. So this is her final product. So this is the sand art that we created. We can use soil, we can use pebbles. If you can see close up, it has different layers of the stones and the soil and the Epsom salt and the salt colored salt. Um, so if you create a lot of salt, colored salt, you can do a better one. So like this one, um, this has, so this one, who's gonna move that side? This one has all different colors. We made salt of light green, white, yellow, red, white. So because this is a thin waist, it was, we only needed a little. So it depends on the waist and the arrangement that you have. So now we're gonna show you another one with a wine glass. But this one, we're gonna use a real succulent this time. So we're gonna use a real succulent that we had. What I did was last um, year, fall, I picked up some succulents from the garden and planted in, in some pots at home, inside the home, so that it survived. So because I wanted some greenery at home. So we're gonna do the next one in a glass. So the next one we're gonna do is on a glass and we're gonna put our yellow sand first don't have much so we're gonna use our yellow sand gently put it in the glass right. so if you can see the yellow surface of the yellow sand this was created by salt so it shows the different colors and now we're going to put uh, the the blue salt that we created okay, so usually do this on a place that you don't mind getting a little messy because it's all salt and sand so it's a little messy all right so we put the the blue so what I do is I gently push so the blue can be seen all around the glass so you can see the yellow and the blue beautifully all right so now we're gonna do Hosanna are you ready we're gonna do some of these these kind of stones that we have we have many of them so we can fill a lot so we're gonna put these small pebbles small stones to make another design I have a lot here We will do that on here and now what we're going to do is we're, we're going we want to plant this um, around we want to plant this small succulent a real succulent on top so because of that we need to make a like a hole so that the succulent can be there and we're going to put some soil all right Hosanna get that soil back from there Hosanna is my helper today So we need some soil from there, the soil bag, yes. Thank you. So from the dollar shop, we got some soil bags. These are on, on for two for, I think one something, 150, so good. And then we're gonna, gonna put a little bit first, put it in a cup so it would not be messy because it's a small waist. I'm gonna put it a little bit and then what we're gonna do is plant the, the succulent in the middle. It has a lot of roots and now we're gonna fill it with the, around with the rest of the salt.
sorry, sand and soil. You can press it down. These are so cute that you can make it and give to your friends and your loved ones. Um, just to uh, cheer them up, and especially as we all wait for spring. We all like to have a plant at home and also to just to bring some joy. All right, so it looks good. And what we can do is we can add some um, some moss so the moisture can be kept in between so it is not going to drain down so you can add some uh, moss as well so this is a really small wine glass so moss smells so good so you can see add a little bit of moss around just for the plant to stay good Hosanna loves to uh, water my succulents around the home so we have few succulents and she loves to go and water them so this is another one that we can do so to brighten it up we can add some stones like these just around so do your own thing whatever feels good for you um, I just put some stones around so this is another succulent it looks like a nice wine glass full of uh, soil and sand a beautiful colored sand if you can see around so if you make all kinds of different colors you can make different thin layers to make it look so beautiful so this is another one we did we're gonna do a few more Right, the next one we're going to do is from a glass bottle so a glass bottle has a small uh, hole on top so because of that we can maybe only plant a money plant inside but uh, we can do the same thing if you have colored sand uh, like uh, with salt that we created you can do that so I finished all my salt so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of these aquarium um, stones that we have on the bottle to fill it up as much as I can on with these and um, and do like different colors so let's do that and see how it comes So if you can see, um, I have a layer of that. Fill a little more. Good. So it fills like quarter of it with that. So I'm going to see if these stones go in. Yeah, so they go in. So I'm going to put some of these stones as well. Just to fill the bottle with uh, different layers. Do I want to put these? No. no. It gives this beautiful vibe of uh, the beach with these beautiful blues that we have. Thank you, Hosanna. That looks good and now we're going to add some soil, um, soil. so this is a really uh, hard because it's um, a small narrow one so we're going to use a spoon and add it so we are filling the soil so what I did was because it's a small opening I made a hole in the ziplock bag and I'm going to fill the soil with the, with the bottle because the opening is really small so we're gonna fill it like that if you can see we can we have put some of the uh, the stones of different colors and then these big stones and then we put soil and what we have is a 
I call this Amani plant but if you know this kind of plant that grows so easily so you can take a branch of it and put it in here so that it'll get planted so I will cut the few of the leaves away so that it will have a long stem and you can plant it plant it there like that so and it can grow so this is on the sideways so like this so when it grows more it will be more beautiful and you can add more so uh, soil or you can add some moss as well to contain the contain the water so you can add few of the moss as well or you can so the moss gives a nice color as well you can add moss or you can add some more salt uh, soil so, this is too big i want to do this big one it's so big it just fills the gap so it just uh, <laughs> just fills up Why? and uh, so this is another one we can do so if you have and if you can create more salt uh, sand of different colors you can do layers like I have done before uh, like here I did different layers of green white yellow all these shades so it's more nice and you can plant one of your plants as well so these are the ones that you can do so if you have empty glasses at home empty vases at home empty jars at home empty vases at home you can all do this uh, beautiful activity so i want to show you one by one uh, what we have done and i hope that you will enjoy and also you will try your own and create some beautiful pieces so i will show you close up so this is one we did today these are fake succulents that we put and the salt and the epsom salt and the colored sand salt art we did so this is one and this one i told you you can create it with detergent soap as well like laundry detergent soap this is a laundry detergent soap i took and made layers of different colors so if you don't like that smell and that strong smell you can use salt salt is harmless so I created this with the laundry detergent and um, so this one is another one with different layers of salt and um, this one we did today with the stones and the uh, soil and uh, the moss and the plant so when we water it we can uh, make sure it grows and this is another beautiful one these succulents can be uh, cut and replanted to make nice more nice arrangements so this is another one we did and here's another one with a bigger vase that we created and few more of these small ones so you can even gift someone a gift with this sand art you have done uh, they would really appreciate and like to have a sand uh, art creation at home inside their homes while we wait for spring and wait, while we wait for the grass to get green so i gifted my uh, music teacher uh, one of these kind of these uh, size ways with some, some of the sand art and she loved it she really appreciated and I put re two real succulents on top so she said she really likes it and it'll be a piece of that she can have at her home so I hope that you enjoy doing this with me and please create your own and maybe you will do much better than me and come up with greater ideas and things that you would do so um, God bless you all enjoy this craft Say bye. 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 So these are all the ones that we have made. Yeah.